Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Uh, this morning, I have um, a very interesting uh, picture in my mind. And the picture in my mind is, uh, le let me capture it as profit and loss. Profit and loss. In, in, in the book of John, chapter 6, uh, verse 26, and John, chapter 12, verse 6, John 6, 26, and John 12, verse 6. They have a very, very interesting story over there. Number one, you remember now a, a crowd comes to Jesus, and Jesus multiplies uh, five loaves of bread and three fish. They eat their fill. And, uh, I mean, so that particular uh, incident was not lost on people. So I'm sure that the next time, more crowd came. A lot of people came. And all those people, when they got there, they, I, I, it was very interesting for me, you know. Jesus Christ, the next chapter that they come to him and in John 6, then he says to them, I, I'm not going to give you food. And, and th that's not, you need something more than food. And uh, you, you need God's word. You need, you gotta come and take off me and eat. Because the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So what, what, what Jesus was saying to them, that come and take the word and eat the word. And you get what? The crowd got angry. And look at what the, I'm, I, sometimes I say Jesus Christ might have preached a bad sermon because everybody got offended. And the Bible says the crowd just left. And they just left. And uh, I, I, I'm very intrigued by the fact that, listen, he's offering them something very powerful and something very important. See, he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He was giving them life principles. He was giving them something that was much more expensive, something that was more treasurable than, than, uh, than, than food. And to my surprise, to uh, my, my biggest surprise, they were offended and they walked away. And then in, if you remember too, in, 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 in John 12, uh, 6 to, I mean, Judas gets angry and I'm beginning to wonder uh, because a lady pours oil upon the feet of Jesus and I mean, he begins to calculate, he was a very good accountant anyway, and knew his market prices very well. He uh, quickly guessed how much the, the alabaster box of uh, spectinard oil was going to cost and blah, 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 and he was offended. Now here's my question. It's not everybody who gathers around you who is after your welfare. There are people who gather around you for profit. There are people who circulate around you because you are a platform for profit. There's something that they can get from you. It's not because they love you, not because they, they are interested in you. No, they don't care. It is, it is profit. It is something that you do that brings profit to them. So you are a platform for profit. And the day they find out that you're no longer a platform for, for profit, you become a loss to them and they'll have to lose you. And they have to throw you away. Now that's, that's very sad, but very true. So not everyone who gathers around you is gathering around you because of your welfare or they love you or they this thing. There are some people whose profit is tied to you. And so far as you are there, you are a profit, a money making, or a, a profit for them in one way or the other. You provide them platforms, you provide doors. But you are more than just a platform, you are a personality. And it is very important that people fall in love with the personality rather than the platform. And so when there are people who come around you looking for platforms or looking for opportunities or looking for, you are a, pla you are a platform, you are not a personality. They, they are seeking the rewards, they are not seeking the responsibilities. They are seeking the reward, they are not seeking the relationship. And therefore, they are not interested in the responsibility of the relationship, but they are interested in the rewards of the relationship. So listen, not everyone who gathers around you gathers because they are in love with your personality. Not everyone who gathers around you gathers around you because of the principles that you hold. Not everyone who gathers around you gathers around you because they are so much in love with you or something like that. 
And sometimes there are people who gather around you for the profit you bring to them. So in, your, in their mentality, you are either a profit margin or a margin of loss. And the day you move from that profit margin and you're no longer in that zone, they will leave and begin to pursue other profit margins. That's exactly what Judas did. You know what? Sometimes you need to assess the people around you and ask yourself, what is it that they want? And then be aware of what they want and then adapt or change strategy accordingly. Because those who gather around you for profit and they don't gather around you because of their personality, those who gather around you because of reward and they don't want relationship and they don't want the responsibility of their relationship, I can tell you that in the end they'll hurt you. So be very wise. As a serpent, we're harmless as a dove. Profit or loss, the people around you see you later.